screen. Maybe. No, it's not. It's a fake screen. That's mine. Give me that. Turn me around. Lads, block. Josh Jones pick six. It's rare that Joshy gets a pick. Six and one. Beat the Eagles pretty uh, dominantly. Uh, scout players. Yeah, we'll do that another time. Suggs. We know the boy is back in the lineup. We're happy about that. Uh, what else do we have? So it is week eight. So if we have any players we want to trade, which I don't think we do. Pretty sure we don't have anyone we want to trade. But if we do, we'd have to do it now. Maybe I'll think of someone before the episode is over, but I don't think I will. Uh, of course, we did lose two big players. Obviously not you know, the same week, but overall on the season... We have Vic Beasley and Mike Daniels both out for the rest of, well, not the rest, but for four weeks. Luckily, we do have a bye week coming up, so that'll you know knock one of those out. Clowney apparently good enough to play both spots. Obviously, that's not true, but Fackrell will be playing right outside linebacker spot. He actually was a great fill-in for when Clowney got injured. Crap, now we're screwed, aren't we? But he was uh, you know a great backup for Clowney when Clowney was injured, but obviously here, you know, he has a little bit more help. Because when Clowney was injured, it was literally Fackrell and Perry. And I don't really think Perry's that great of a player in Madden. But let's get ready to play the Broncos. I mean, looking at our schedule, we really don't have that hard of a schedule. I think we looked at it last video before it was over. But we got the Broncos, bye week, Lions, Bears, Vikings, Chiefs, Redskins, Panthers, Giants, Lions. I know I'm probably, uh, you know, kind of undervaluing the Lions, Bears, and Vikings. But if you look at their record... It's not really my fault, is it? It's, you know, their fault for not playing too well. I really don't know. Honestly, I think 10's a nice round number, but I think it gives me too much time to run up the stats. So I don't know. I think eight or nine minute quarters leaves us right around. Yeah, see, the defensive stats are nice for us because we don't play as much. Like, we get the turnover amount, but we, you know, offensive yardage. I think we'll compare the offensive yardage to the rest of the league and then make a decision from there. And the Broncos, nice little stadium here. There's a lot of people. Holy crap, they have four rows. Is that normal? Like this, honestly, just from the looks of it, it looks like one of the biggest capacity stadiums in the league. Don't know if it's true. Maybe it's because it's mile high. That is really high, though. Kicking the ball first, I believe. We get our wishes. I really wish I could choose the special teamers. I don't know if there's a way to do that, but I really don't want Clowney as a special teamer when... He's literally our, like, best pass rusher. Oh, my God. Whoever McKenzie is, he is a fast guy. And there goes McKinnon. Great little blitz off the edge. Maybe he has a chance at rookie of the year. I assume he is a rookie. I actually can't tell because he's actually a really good overall. We have a great team across the board, but if it wasn't for the injuries, it'd be really good. So they are going to run it. Good time to run that 4-3 front. 10 touchdowns, 4 picks, 61.5% completion, 1,632 yards. So... Everything's on par with Paxton, which is why I think we probably need to full-time go for 10-minute quarters. Suggs, I don't want to rush him in too early, so we're we're going to you know let him feel it out, let him get a block maybe. Wow, maybe Rodgers needs to feel it out. Jesus Christ there, Rodgers. Calm yourself, mate. And there goes Suggs. He's not feeling that injury at all. Bowls right through a player right away. Suggs played two snaps. Ty is in. Doesn't bother me one bit. And that is a great catch by Cooper. Or maybe not. Oh, Devontae, I think, was open, to be fair. Armour gets his feet down. Good play. Little Suggs action. Damn, I don't know what it is, but our offensive line is blocking really poorly. But obviously, Suggs is power. He's getting about four per carry so far, which is all right. I mean, tried to run him over, but Armour pushed off the block, grabbed the safety. To be fair, I probably would rather go against the safety, so he probably should have let the safety come at me. I'd probably go against the, the safety over Vaughn. Yeah, call it a crazy insight. I'm trying to go down, couldn't. Bennett, nice little catch there. Is an injury. Then they really want to stop this run. They knew they knew Suggs was coming back. They knew we'd want to run it early and often. And so far, they've done a really good job of stopping it. Went for that touchdown. Couldn't get it the two-yard line. I think this is where Suggs deserves a welcome home party in the end zone. Come on, Suggs. He's a fighter, and look at him. Into the end zone. 
I mean, that was not easy. Good line blockage. Followed the line. Did well. Oh, they should have went for it. Look at the wind. It's nine miles per hour direct line against me. But, I mean, we did get off the field. And McKinnon again. They cannot block the cornerback blitz. Ooh, I'm definitely using uh, Henderson here. He's a fast guy. And Nicholson's a safety. It's great coverage. That's picked by Clinton Dix. He's got a chance to run. Damn, C.J. Anderson is fast for his age. I mean, to be fair, he's actually probably not much older than Clinton Dix. Clinton Dix is getting old, too, I would assume. Oh, we got to get some more push there. What a play. It's not come easy this game. It's not come easy for the last three weeks, honestly, for this offense. Damn it, Suggs. You got to run him over there. Oh, it's Ty Montgomery. Maybe this is better, though. Maybe they won't expect it. Josh Jones is in. Oh, they expected it. No, they didn't. Ty Montgomery. Oh, good play. That was a good little trick play. Kind of ran on the outside, even though we had it stacked in. I don't believe in this pitch at all, but let's let's trust the O-line. Let's trust it. Good. I mean, that's just easy. Suggs, second touchdown of the game. Walks in on that one. No struggles for him. Ooh. Give me that. Oh, what a throw. Come on, Clowney. I'm supposed to be in coverage and going back. Get that. Oh, dropped by Lolito. Not the greatest hands in the world. Let's play. He plays safety. McKinnon off the edge. It's going to be a rough one for Nicholson over here. I'm going to have to use it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, McKinney didn't go. That's why. Got him, and he fumbles. Ooh, McKinney almost caught that. 14 to 0, 441 in the second. Porcher, come on. Oh. Oh, I got to take it now. Oh, Porcher. Go. Oh, Porcher's so slick. I don't trust it. I trust Devontae, actually. Jump that. What a catch, Devontae. Usually, Devontae drops those every single time. Pretty solid throw by Rodgers. Who is this? Cooper. Oh, what a play by 31. I think we have the wind on our side. We might be able to kick this. Ooh, I thought I had him. Great beat there on our uh, youngster, McKinnon. Second and four from the 19-yard line. I'm in, man. Good little run. I'm going to chase him down. You're mine. Try to strip him. Good hold on by Dak. Uh, Dak Pack. Good find. Great, great play. And, man, by Clint Dix, which is shocking because he's a safety. That's not my fault. That's McKinney's. I'm supposed to play that other zone. Somebody's injured. Hopefully it's not our guy. Like, if we lost McMullen for a couple of, like, weeks, we'd be so screwed. We'd have, like, nobody. Devontae has a chance. Roll out. Throw that. What a throw. What an absolute dot and a half. Rodgers is on point. Who's that? Porcher. Porcher. Oh, he's short. I mean, how is that even fair? The blocks are insane on that. Porcher. He's so fast. He's so... And I messed it up. He is so fast. Never expect it. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. And Cooper holds on. Wow. Rodgers is on fire this game. I mean, what is that? Like... The Broncos literally have no answer. Like they're they're bringing the rush. Oh, what a Suggs play right there! Didn't have a chance to truck him, so I had to stiff arm him. The second guy, at least. The guys hold their guy and hold their blocks. We have a shot. There you go, Suggs. Break one free for me. I'm gonna take Porcher. What a throw! Ah, Porcher couldn't hold on. What a throw! Right on the money. Spellman was open. Devontae's kind of open. I'm just going to go for possession. They're stacking that line again, and ever since I, I chose a run play, they brought everyone up. Spellman! Oh, I, knew, I was wondering why Spellman was open. I mean, he's not a good receiver. I know he's fast, but he's not a good receiver. And it's because they blitzed us. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I saw it. It's too late. Ortiz, the fullback. Chance to score. Damn it, Rogers taking out again. I don't need that injury. Damn it. Good try. I mean, I did everything I could with Ty's skill set to 
try and break that. I got him. No, I don't. Ooh, he almost snuck out of there. They're down 31 to 7. I think you have to go for it here. Let's see what they do, though. Got him. Got him. Good find to Artie Burns, that is. Damn, I tried to go left. There you go, Porcher. And he gets a block from Devante. That is a great pick play. Hurdles over defender. That was so slick by the Rook. Completely burned by Porcher. Completely burned there. And then Devontae Adams with, like, quite possibly the block of the year. Probably the block of the year. I mean, that is, that's a huge block. It's a screen. Maybe. No, it's not. It's a fake screen. That's mine. Give me that. Turn me around. Lads, block. Josh Jones pick six. It's rare that Josh, he gets a pick. Making Suggs' look bad. Look even worse on blocking. Or not blocking, but yards. I mean, Jesus Christ, we have not moved the ball at all. And the game is over. We, I got, I guess, maybe got a turnover or something. So we finished the game at the nine-yard line, 45-7. to seven. Now that's a dominating game. Suggs' return really wasn't impressive. He got three rushing touchdowns, but that was just a product of us being at, like, the one-yard line. But, hey, we won the game 45-7, to seven, and I accidentally skipped it. We'll take a look at the injuries later. Rodgers' masterful, masterful performance probably becomes player of the week. 24 for 60, 2.5 per carry, three touchdowns. That's a terrible game per carry. Uh, Porcher, 171 yards, one touchdown. I mean, he's he's on and off, but for the most part, he looks like he could be offensive rookie of the year over Suggs. Uh, Kevin King, Josh Jones, Artie Burns, and Clinton Dix all had picks. And yeah, then, uh, I mean, we won the game. Going on to our bye week, obviously that'll not matter for you guys, but I'll probably end up before, you know, before simming, maybe making a play. We'll see. I don't want to sim it this video, though. It doesn't really matter to do it. But yeah, I mean, another great game. Let me know what you think of the sliders. It was the Broncos who usually go like 4-12. and 12. And the Eagles game, that was a very close one. And honestly, we got lucky at the end with Devontae. So very good game that was. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. 7-1, and one, another great season. Hope you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!